Hello again, time for another little project. Today we're going to make a necklace, could be some earrings, could be a key fob, whatever you guys make at the end, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to use a Pringles lid for my mould, and this is basically just what comes off your Pringles. And I've made something in this before with some leftover resin, and it pops out nice, and it's no problem whatsoever. For the shape of our earring, we're going to need some plastic like so. Now this has come off the plastic bottle. Everyday stuff. Tonic water today. But it's the plastic that we're interested, interested in. And all we need to do is basically just get in there and cut yourself a nice strip off. The longer the spiral is, the more circles we can put in our little project. Once you've cut it off, I tend to get some masking tape like so, stick that on there, get yourself a ruler, get a nice straight edge, So that's what we need to cook, the straight bits is what's going to be set in the resin to make our mould for the necklace stroke earring. So once you've done that, you've cut it all out nicely, you should be end up with something like that. Go as thick as you like, the thicker it is, the more chunkier the necklace is going to be. You can make it that thickness, and if you're really clever, you might get away with cutting it down the middle afterwards with a scroll saw, band saw, that's entirely up to you. But I'm only going to make the one necklace today. Okay, so we've done that, and all we need to do now is wrap that round. It's a bit springy, keep hold of it. And we're going to wrap it round again. Like I say, the longer it is, the more you'll get out of it. And we can wrap it around again like so. Well, these are quite tight together because there's only a small bit of scrap I've shown you. Once you've done that, get yourself a clip. I'm actually using the clip that comes with the mobile phone to hold the headphones in. And you just sit that on there and that's your little shape. Your little mould. Made and ready to go. You can use peg. The peg will hold it in place paper clip will hold it in place. Right, that's ready. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got our mould, your lid. Put a thin layer of resin in there. Now I only ever make this when I've got a bit of resin left over from another project that I've made before. Line up with resin and all we're going to do is drop our shape inside. I don't know if you can see that one. Well, that's got in there nicely and that's, that's set. That's good, that can come off. And there is our earring, pendant, necklace, mould, ready and good to go. Now originally that was going to be my main size, but then I realised there'd be a nice chunk of plastic on it. So I'm going to have to put another section around the edge of this. So we'll have one, two, three, four. Four different colours to fill in with the resin. Shouldn't leak anywhere because that's all nicely sealed now. So I'll put this end piece on, which like I say, should have gone in at the beginning. And that will give me an edge to it, like so. Let it set, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Right, we've got that end piece in now. I've gone a bit over the top with the tape, just to make sure it doesn't leak out anywhere. Ideally, like I say, that should have been set in the same time as we set those ones in. Not to worry, if it leaks out and it's a disaster, we'll just end up with a small one in the middle. That doesn't bother me too much, we're just messing about. The resin we're going to use is Amazing Clear Cast, parts A and part B. I love this stuff and what's good about it, you mix it one to one by volume. So if you have an inch worth in that one for your A, you want an inch worth in that one for your B for your hardener. Mix the two together, and then what I'll do is I'll put a separate so much in one for the red, so much for yellow, so much for green, whatever colours we're going to use. So I'll mix this up off camera because it's a standard thing, always follow your instructions. So I'll mix the resin and then we'll start pouring it in. Right, we've mixed our first coloured resin up. I'm going for yellow, which I had left over from my previous project. 
And all we're going to do is fill these in now. These are kind of little projects you'd leave to one side. And you might only have a bit of yellow. So you could throw that in there and then just leave it. And it could be a month later, you use a bit more resin. Throw a bit of red in there. That'll give you a nice camouflage effect with different colours. As it is today, it's going to be pretty boring. Because it's going to be, we'll say yellow, red. It might be yellow, red yet. I've got some green and blue, but we'll see how we get on. So we'll get this thrown in here now without messing. And that's it, that's yellow thrown in. That's all we can do really. Now let's just do exactly the same with the red. Which we've got here. Like so, you can see how it's taking shape. I've got quite a big yellow and red left over, so I am just going to go one for one. I'll just close this blind. Okay, that's a bit better. Right, you can see what we're looking for. So I'll finish this off and then come back at the end. As you can see, we're all finished now. I've stuck to some basic colours, not to get too carried away. I wish I never put the red on these surround. I was quite happy with the three colours in the middle, the yellow, red and orange. But it's too late now. It's gone in. So we'll let that set, and then we'll start sanding it down. I might sand away most of this red on the end. But height-wise, I think we're about there. And always have a little project to one side, just, just for your leftovers. Right, that's set nice. I took all the cellate tape off. It took some getting off because it had uh, leaked underneath. So next time, I need to set these, and the final ones, should I say, in resin. But lesson learned, the back comes off really easy. And that's lovely and smooth. So you've got a smooth back, and you've basically got a smooth front. Now you could actually put an hole in that. And if you're a bit of a hippie, you're good to go. What I'm going to do is sand it all down. There's a slight little lip there. Make it smooth, and then bring these edges, I wouldn't say to a point, but round them off nicely. Nicely, should I say. And then we'll put the hole in and see how far we get. Right, I've gone about as far as I want to go with this as regards to sanding down with the Dremel. I popped a little hole in there as you can see. Rough looking, isn't it? Right, what we've got to do now is sand it down. I'm going to start with a 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 and finishing up at 2,000. Throw yourself a bit of water on. 
and we're going to do what everybody loves to do is sand it down I'm going to get as near as I can to a nice finish but I'm not overly bothered because it the idea of the experiment was to see if I could do the multicolored, which obviously that does. Yep, so I'll get away and start sanding this down. Right, let's start with the 1000. Like I say, get some water on it, just keep the dust down and help things run a bit smoothly. Right, I'll keep working on this. Right, that's all finished now. It's come out pretty cool. Got a nice shine to it. What I did to get the shine is put a thin layer of resin on afterwards, but just with a paintbrush. Paint it over, let it set, and you're good to go. Things I've learned from this, the clamping together Probably wasn't the best idea because as you can see you've got that chunk of plastic there showing. So next time I'll make a full circle which I'm going to show you in a minute. A uh, bit of red on the back there. That is because we didn't set the final barrier, should we call it, in resin. We tried sellotape and it just leaked underneath but it doesn't matter. It's only an experiment just to see how them colours would look. Yeah, and I think they've come out pretty cool. What it is at the end of the day, it could be a dangly pen pendant, could be a keyring fob. I suppose you could hang it up in the sunshine and the, the light will come through nicely. The next one, maybe, I'll just show you this quickly. Similar setup, but this time we've, we've cut our little sections off singly. And I've just put sellotape at the end of each one. So you can put them how you want it really. And we'll set them in there exactly the same. Let them set. And then we've got a nice teardrop effect with multi-colours. One, two, three, four, five different colours in there maybe. So that'll be another project. I'll have this made up and then just leave it to one side. And every time I use resin, we'll just throw a bit of colour in. So that's for next time. However, this time, this project's finished. Nice resin in a Pringle lid pendant. Thank you for watching.